Hello everyone, today I am going to talk with you regarding the physiotherapy database. Research and evidence based practice is the talk in the present era of uh, uh, in the present era in our profession. So physiotherapy database I would like to share. There are mainly 12 physiotherapy database in our profession. The first one you can go with the PubMed. Second one is a Science Direct. Then you can go with the JGate, Ovid, Pedro, Sinhal, Medline, Embase, Dare, Lilex, Sinhal, and Google Scholar. These are the main database which is present in our profession. Now we need physiotherapy database. We need to know about the database so that we can have a access to the good quality studies. Maybe the randomized control trial, meta-analysis, single or the double blinded studies, systematic review, case control, cohort, case series. Okay, many studies if you would like to go ahead, okay, then definitely we need to go with the physiotherapy or any database from where we can have a good quality studies. Many of the database is free, many of the databases are charged database. Uh, many of the universities they have a facilities of the digital library through the Hellenet and uh, you can have access to the few of the uh, articles. Just suppose in a PubMed few articles you can have a full text uh, PDF you can download but uh, some of the articles you can have only access to the abstract and through the Hellenet if you have paid for that particular journal uh, and for that particular database you can have the uh, access to the full article. So we need to know about the database so that only the selected information related to the research work we can extract and that can be used for the guidelines for doing our research. So it is mandatory for us to know about the different databases. Now if we talk about the first one PubMed. PubMed is a free search engine assessing primarily the Medline database of the references and abstracts on the life science and the biomedical topics. So it gives a very relevant information related to our profession. The second one is your science direct. It provides subscription based access to a large database of the scientific and the medical research. And it hosts over 12 million pieces of the content from 3500 academic journals and it has access to 34,000 ebooks. So you can understand how important this database for us to know or to get the information on the different topics. Then open JGate. JGate is also a very good search engine. It is claimed to aggregate metadata from more than 4000 open access journals uh, domains which is both scholarly and very popular domains and the peer reviewed studies. And that's why it is open access and uh, very standardized one. Ovid. It provides access to the online bibliographic database and the academic journals. Then Medline. Medline is basically bibliographic database of the life science and the biomedical informations. Embase, again a very good database. It contains over 28 million records from over 8,400 currently published journals from 1947 to present. Then we have the other another database called DAB. The database of the abstracts of reviews and the effects contains the details of systematic reviews that evaluate the effects of healthcare interventions. And uh, Lilex, it is an online database of the bibliographic database in the Medline and the other health sciences. So these are the all database and uh, very commonly used nowadays is the Pedro. It is a physiotherapy evidence database and it is a free database of over 33,000 randomized controlled trial, systematic review and the clinical practice guidelines in the physiotherapy. We can under understand that it is a free and containing a huge data guidelines which can be utilized for improving our clinical practice, to do the research work, to get the reviews of literature and so on. Sinhal, it contains the articles about the allied health, biomedicine and the healthcare. Again, a very good information we can extract from the Sinhal. And this is the last one which I am going to tell you and my favorite one that is the Cochrane Library. It is having the collection of database in the medicine and the other healthcare specialty and it Cochrane basically publishes only a very high quality research work into their particular database. So I advise all of you to go through this particular database and improve your skill in the field of the physiotherapy research 
and you can even improve your clinical practice to get the information or the guidelines about the new techniques and so on. In a summary, I would like to say the 12 database PubMed, ScienceDirect, JGate, Ovid, Petro, Cochrane, Medline, Embase, DARE, Lilex, Sinhal and the Cochrane library. I hope you found this uh, is informative and for more videos like this, okay, please subscribe to my channel Tarpan Shah. Thank you very much.